I'm watching an old stream right now on my TV for some reason. Okay, well, at least, okay. Chat appears to be working. That's good. I don't know what it looks like. Sorry guys, technical difficulties. I didn't just restart the thing. Yeah, weird, okay. So the thumbnail is just me smiling like an idiot. Now it's working. What up, Kenneth? McLovin? I'm having so many technical difficulties right now. It's a big old suck fest. <sighs> yeah, I shouldn't. I had it all figured out and I tried to get fancy and I was trying to change the description. I started a new event instead of copying over the old one and when you do that, it doesn't work. I guess, apparently. I don't know. So none of you got the notification ahead of time that it was happening. And then I went live... I went live five minutes ago and nothing. I still don't have live chat on my TV. Why is that? Why did that change? Did the app update? Because it used to just work. Because it's very nice because then I can look at the TV and be looking at the camera and reading the chat, but it just is not working anymore. Last week it stopped. I don't know what's up with that. It's like it forgot I was live streaming. I got nothing. So we're gonna have to go laptop on the lap. Sorry, Chewbacca. Well, hello, Mr. Fancy Pants. I got news for you, pal. You ain't leading but two things right now. Jack and shit. Jack left town. What up, Tails? What up, Stefan? Yeah, sorry guys, I, uh, you tweak one thing and everything goes to hell. You know, it's no good. I got so many cords coming off me right now. I'm like Darth Vader. Ugh. Yeah, I guess you're going to look at my laptop again all night and I'm, I'll be talking to you but not looking at you because reasons. But that's okay because I have whiskey. Yeah, dude, that's my, that's my favorite. What up, Jim? What up, Jim? So my thumbnail's not even here. My whole carefully crafted description. Man, my ice is like half melted. It must be hot in here. Must be hot in here. This stuff, I would love to wholeheartedly recommend it to all of you because it's among the best whiskey, best whiskeys I've ever had. This is Howard Jacobs Single Malt. It's really good. In fact, I kind of save it for special occasions, but tonight I was like, meh. I haven't had it in a while, but you can only get it here in Albany. It's bottled here at a distillery in Albany. It's real good. Like, Stefan, you fell. Didn't you hurt yourself riding not that long ago? You're having some bad luck, bud. Mmm. Mmm. It's like malty. It's, a, it, it's got like a malty flavor to it. It's really good. Really good. We got 15 friends, that's good. Yeah, part of it, owing to the fact that none of the notifications went out because YouTube is a suck fest. Mm, God, it's good. It's just, it's just really good. It's so good, it's so good when it hits your lips. Right here. So good, so good. Wow. Yeah, that's what makes me say. Want to drink it? Did you guys see my Instagram slash uh, Facebook post of my uh, my little mishap today? Had a little mishap. Best part is that little mishap happened in the first 15 minutes. I was not even warmed up. Dude, Jim, that's rad. I want to see that. Uh, Kenneth, it's called Howard Jacob, which is the guy that founded the company or runs the company. Sinister Distillery here in Albany, Oregon. It's real good. I want. I can't wait to see it, Stag. Your pictures looked really good. Pictures looked real good. Real good. Good. 
Do you, are you talking to me or uh, Stefan? I'm a uh, upper my my mishap. Um, yeah, every, it's funny. The video looks so much worse than it was. I totally caught myself, and it was it was minor. Like I screwed up my hand guard exactly as I knew I was gonna do because I didn't have it tightened all the way down because of the angle. So I gotta pull it off, and it's exactly the same thing that happened to Little Dork basically. So I got I gotta put some Allen keys in my toolkit, and I gotta pull that handguard off and and uh, bend it in a vise to make it fit the DRZ a little better. I didn't I was fighting it forever when I put it on. I should have just bent it in the first place, but. I don't know. In my head, I'm like, it should fit. But no, you have to tweak them. You have to tweak them. So, yeah, no. No injuries. A little scuff on the handguard and uh, a little bit on the on the uh, plastic on the bike. Yeah, no, I'm good. I, don't, I haven't. I wasn't riding as hard as you were. I don't even know. It was a total fluke. Like, I was coming around a corner at, I don't know, 20 miles an hour, and the front tire just washed out on me. I was sitting down being lazy. Like, every time I crash, I'm sitting down. I noticed that today. Thank you, Chris. And the notifications are going off in a timely fashion today. Should we spin the wheel for Chris? Should we spin the wheel for Chris? We should spin the wheel for Chris. Chris says howdy, folks. Chris walks in, he's like, It's Brittany, bitch. Uh, that's not what he's like, probably. All right, spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. Yeah, McLevin, I'll take you up there. I'm not even wearing a hat, so... Yeah, I just sat down. I got a hat right there. Right here. It's a good one, too. It's a good one. Oh, Chewbacca, I brought you out here, and then the lap got occupied because I can't get chat to come up on the TV. Bam! Chris hat. Chris hat. Change hat for Chris. <laughs> Look at all the cables coming off this thing. It's car great. This is a, look, it matches here and here. I cannot point in the right direction. Press it moto photo is a fun thing to say. Yeah, I don't know if you guys saw my Instagram story or Instagram or Facebook photo I put up, put up but I, I found, there's this overlook that I've always wanted to go look at, this, um, there was two, actually, two look sort of viewpoints. That's the word I'm looking for up there. The first one's really high up, decent view, but the second one was one that in the Sandy M O H V video from a couple years ago that I showed you guys not that long ago, uh, where I got stuck in the sand at the end, I was probably 200 yards from this spot. Like, it's literally a two-minute ride from there, and we got stuck in the sand and didn't get up there, because that was actually where we were headed, but today I was determined to get there. But you come around the corner and you can see Big Lake, Mount Washington, the Three Sisters, Broken Top, um, and they're all, it's just all just gorgeous. It's probably the best view I've ever seen in terms of all the things probably, while out riding. Probably the best view I've ever come across while out riding. Uh, San Diego OHV has more limited trails, but the one, the roads are fun to ride. Like the roads are basically just wide trails because they're all whooped out and everything. And the scenery up there. Because you're literally in the mountains. Like, like I was riding today between... And you would have to know the mountains in our rain, up here in the Cascades. But between Three Finger Jack and Mount Washington. And, and they're so close, it's like you can touch them. They're right there. It was... It's gorgeous up there. You're not, like, looking up at the mountains. You're in them. Like, you're between them. It's pretty cool. Stag, it's all about that background. You just gotta, you gotta frame it. Yeah, Kenneth, this is really good. I just don't know how you would be able to get it unless you come to Albany, Oregon. What's up, Mike Walensky? The three sisters are gorgeous, but they're mountains and not ladies. Awesome, Chris. We're gonna spin for trail. What's up, trail? Oh, I got a double, a double whammy did. Oh, thank you for subscribing, Mr. Burns. Sticker giveaway. Awesome. The nice thing about having to run the chat on my lap is I don't have to like lean forward oh, and right. do everything to uh, start a giveaway. So that's good. Although the bot needs to wake up a little bit. Let's do a sticker giveaway. Uh, McLovin still has not picked up his cover. So, you know, whatever. But I did mail corn stickers to him. <clears throat> because I mail things when you win them. 
Nope, not that. Merch. Oh, I can I can do stream. No, I don't have Streamlabs merch. Uh, Teespring. I'm talking to myself. Ignore me. All right, let's do it. Let's see if the bot is going to work tonight. Come on, bot. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. All right, give it a shot, y'all. Come on, work bot, work bot, work bot. The whole computer like needed a, it got a massive update. Oh God, it's not working. Oh yeah, there it goes. Okay, it is working. Whew, got it. Also, I'm just gonna let you guys in on a little secret right now. I turned off monetization for this video because I was thinking about maybe having a Mr. Puff Puff because I got a bunch of new Mr. Puff Puffs today. Because I discovered this badass website, which I did not like, not like, Magellan discovering it. I just hadn't heard of it before, but uh, called cigarbid.com. Did I talk about this last week? I think I, maybe I did, but it's uh, it's like eBay, but you bid on lots of cigars and my first package came today. So I got 30 cigars in the mail today. Pretty badass. Pretty badass. Also, did you guys see that my, so I had one video featured on rideapart.com. This week, and then I just found out another one today is popping up on some T-Mobile recommended videos thing. So that DRZ versus uh, DRZ versus CRF video is doing pretty good. Not bad at all. Yeah, we'll see, Trail. I don't know. We'll see. I was thinking about it. Well, do an experiment and see how it affects the video or if I get... They can't copyright or they can't demonetize me if I demonetize myself. No, and I don't... I don't give a shit about the monetization on these videos on the streams because it will make me 12 cents, but I just don't, I don't want to get into some sort of list or queue or something where my videos are getting more carefully scrutinized. Stag, was it not about something that you normally make videos on? No, Chris, I got a smoking deal, smoking deal. I got both of these basically half price and I made sure because I held up if you're still t if we're still talking about cigars if I because I put up I pulled up cigars international on one tab and cigar bit in the other and made sure that I was paying a good price no trail well they'll still copyright strike me I don't want to get a lot of those if I can avoid it yeah D D Myers's face is the one in the thumbnail for that um, five things Five bad things nobody tells you about motorcycling video. It's all D's fault that the video is doing so well. I hate that the chat's not on the TV. It's really annoying me. It's really annoying me. <sighs> it's hit or miss, Dag. It's hard sometimes. I sometimes, like, to this day, I'm so annoyed. Like, McLovin and I went out and did that Africa Twins ride. I thought the, the, the content was fun. It was a great ride. We had drone shots. I edited it. I thought, I thought it was a great video. And two videos pointing at each other, I thought, for sure, this will do well. And that video hasn't done hardly anything. I hate when you make something really good or put a lot of time into it, and then YouTube just decides not to show it to anyone. It sucks. <laughs> I don't think so, D. I don't think so. Yeah, Stag, but that's what brings them in. They come in, you uh, you make the videos that people can search for and find, and then they stick around for the other stuff. Does anybody else want to enter? I've only got like nine people entered right now. Nobody wants stickers? I need to start giving away something else. Y'all already got stickers. Exclamation point enter if you want to enter. It's okay if you're lurking. I won't call you out unless you win. No, No need to interact unless you choose to. I get it. I lurk on Twitch a lot. And I lurk on Reddit a lot. I almost never post anything, but I read Reddit a lot. Yeah, I, yeah, I thought it was good. I thought it was good, Chris. I, I mean, I enjoyed making it, obviously. I thought it turned out really well. But sometimes YouTube just doesn't show your video to people. It's like a slot machine. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Hey, Jim. Never have too many stickers for show. Now, what's everybody sipping tonight? I'm sipping some delicious Howard Jacob from Sinister Distillery. 
All right, I'm going to close the giveaway in about uh, 11 seconds. 11 seconds. I got stag sticker right here, so. Like a boss. Thank you, Jeffrey. All right. I'm going to close entries in. Hi, Jim. Closing entries. Twisted tea, delicious. You're drinking screw it, Stag? Is that a thing? All right, gonna pick a winner. Oh, bro, your timing is no good. Okay, I'm gonna resume entries. Try again, try again. Stag, you can't have too many. We can't have too many uh, stickers. Coors Light, delicious. That was my go-to when I wanted to drink a lot of beer. Back when I could drink beer. Oh, man. You guys got to quit typing in. Like, it's been running for like 15 minutes. <laughs> it's not been running that long. Okay. There we go. I'm closing it now. It's happening. It's happening. I'm doing it. I'm going to close it. I got you in. Hard dicks inside are just fun to say out loud. All right, I'm picking a winner. Mike Walensky. Congrats, Mike. Congrats, Mike. And thank you to Trail Hunter for uh, instigating that giveaway. Uh, Mike, you just got to email me. And I know I, I think I've sent you stuff before, but the email is how I keep track of who I've sent them to and who I haven't. So if you send me an email at adorkintheroadappears at gmail.com, I will get you some stickers. Send me your address, if you don't mind. Because otherwise, I'll just be guessing and... There's a 1 in 300 million chance that it gets to your house. Mike Walensky. So what the hell, guys? What have you been up to? What's going on? How's it, how's it going? How's it hanging? Hey, hey randomly. I uh, I'm basically... You know how everyone's like, Oh, teachers get summers off, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. That's not a thing. So I'll be working basically every day next week. So, uh, and then basically my summer's over. My summer, as it, such as it was. I'll try to sneak in a day here and there, but I'm going to be working a ton. So probably two videos a week plus the live stream going forward, just FYI. Thank you, Mike. Thank you for entering. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. I think I might try to... Because when I did all those writing videos in a row, it, it didn't do very well. So I, I might try to alternate... A writing video and a non-writing video, maybe something like that. But uh, I don't know. We'll see if I keep that up because I now have four, at least four writing videos filmed. And I don't like to get behind. So there's no way to win. Got done with Idaho BDR. That's awesome, Wanders. Congrats. I hear that one's rough. Camping, huh, randomly? That's cool. Yeah, it's a quote from a poem by T.S. Eliot. It says, Do I dare disturb the universe? And guess what font it is? Star Wars font. Duh. Isn't it always? Isn't everything I do? Right here. My shirt's even in Star Wars font. Uh, I filmed today. Some of you have been asking. I filmed the uh, How I Load My Motorcycle video. I figured while I was out there at the at the OHV area, in the shade, there was shade. It's a nice staging area. Um, I would just film it then. So I shot one, but I shot it on my GoPro Hero White, so it's all fish-eyed. But we'll see. If the footage is any good, I'll make a video out of it. That'll be fun. That's awesome, Garth. I know people like them, Garth, and I'm glad. Thank you for saying that. I just think sometimes, like I did like five in a row a couple weeks ago because I was just trying to crank out content. I was at, uh, where I was today is the beginning of one section of the Oregon BDR. And I was going to drive the truck down it, and it got real, real soft sandy. So when I go back, I think I want, I'll spend less time on the trails and more time just hitting up the roads out there and exploring around. 
because I, I definitely want to go back. Here's the other thing, McLovin. It only took me an hour and 40 minutes to get there. So it is closer. San Diego OHV is closer than Oak Ridge, drive time-wise. It's closer than Browns, too. That It makes it the second closest OHV to here, I think. Camping next week. Awesome, David. No more cooler folding step stool. I got a folding step stool. Do you not, do you not use it anymore, Chris? Now, Stag, just record what you're doing, man. Like, people watch what they want, but don't worry. I mean, don't don't judge whether it's interesting or not. People don't tune in. Nest people are contradicting me as I say this, but your channel's about you. So whatever you're doing, you make it interesting. I ride the same places often. Like, I've got multiple videos in the same area, but it's never the same ride. There's always adventures and shenanigans and stupid-ass jokes I made. So, so don't just... Don't discourage yourself. I mean, just turn your camera on and go do your thing. Take us along on your adventures with you. Get an oil filter guard from B&B Off-Road to bling up your DR. Awesome. Hey, Jason. We're just chilling, bro. Yeah, McLevin. It's cool up there. Yeah, Garth. She's doing great. I think... I want to take her to Sandy or to uh, McCoy, OHV, because McCoy is a it's a snowmobile area, and so it's um it's all very wide roads, so we could cruise. But the views up there are gorgeous because it's right next to Mount Jefferson, so I may take her there next time, and we can just cruise on really wide logging roads. And although some of it's paved, although it's paved from the staging area, so it's got to be okay, right? I just wonder about, because she's not street legal technically. No, McLovin, it's not bad. Chris, not the one with the big hoop at the top. The, the what, Chris? The, what are we talking about? Stag, it's got to be about the ride, man. Don't make it about the videos. Just go do your thing. Make a video. Make the video you want to make. If you build it, they will come. It's got to be about the ride first. When I start going out to make content, like specifically, I get real burnout real fast. Like I have to just be recording my rides and it is what it is. Yeah, see, Jason's got it right there. So just share your thoughts and ideas, Stag. You're, no other channel has you, right? Like, doesn't matter... Nobody else can make the videos you make, even if the content and the topic is the same, because they don't have you. You be you. I do not know why the bot has to post two messages at a time every time. He's annoying. No one even clicks on those. I should just turn him off. He's an obnoxious a-hole of a bot. That's all I'm saying. Uh, Trail, she hasn't been out again since the video, so... Um, Probably, but we don't we don't get out oft, as often as I'd like. It is a bit of an ordeal. Like we need a whole day, and and we got to you know load both bikes up, and it's, it takes an hour to get there, and so I would love to get out more often. And she's only she's not here. She's only here half the time. So we got to time all the things when I'm not working and she's here, and when we have a full day, and uh, so we don't get out as much as I would like. It's easier for me to sneak away by myself more often. Bought a KLX 230, put on 240 kilometers. Awesome, dude. Oh, you're in. So, are you riding illegally right now? Whoa. That KLX 230 seems like a really great first bike. I would like to ride one. It's very 250 LE. Yeah, Trail, she's still anxious about how high up she, the sea height concerns her. Uh, she didn't want to stop. Like, she kept getting annoyed because I was stopping because she doesn't want to put her feet down. She didn't give a shit about views that day. She just wanted to ride. Dude, stay, bro. You don't, you don't need words of encouragement. I'm just saying the truth. That's all. The truth. It's a grind, man. It is hard. I've, I've quit YouTube twice. Two times. I have abandoned it entirely. Went to Twitch a couple times. And uh, it took me a while to realize, to find the right rhythm. And as much as I'd love to grow faster and bust my ass and put up 6,000 videos, 
I will burn out and quit. So I have it's a marathon, not a sprint, man. That's all. Qui Gon Jin was right about Anakin Skywalker. Yeah, it's true. You're not wrong. Awesome Firefly. Well, make good videos. Florida Moon Dog, let's go. <laughs> Wanders, I'm afraid to, man. I'm afraid to try a real dirt bike too because I don't want to know the difference. Like, the stuff I'm able to do on my DRZ, like today, man, I was having a great time. I would hate to get on a bike that's 100 pounds lighter and more powerful with better suspension and then go back to my DRZ. I just don't think, I feel like it would ruin it for me. So, I don't know, man. I would ride one if somebody was like, do you want to ride this bike for a while? But, uh... If I was going to get a dirt bike, I'd probably want a four-stroke. Like an XR or something. That's sweet, Curtis. Yeah, I would love to ride one. Is it green? I feel like my DRZ lugs pretty well. Someone abandoned a puppy? What the hell, Jim? People are assholes. Hey, Winterson. Looks like you guys are finding me, even though I had all those technical difficulties and couldn't put the thing up early. Yeah, fortunately, I don't like working on motorcycles enough to ever want to own a KTM, so that would keep me from doing it. If I was independently wealthy and someone else would do all my maintenance, or I just throw it away every two years and get another one, then, uh, then I might have a KTM. I don't know. I do think, and you're going to laugh at me, I do think Huskies are kind of sweet, and I know they're the same bike. I get it, but I don't know why. Huskies seem less prone to breaking down. Who was it? Somebody commented in one of my videos. They bought a new 790 Adventure, took out on one of the BDRs, Nevada, I think, and it broke down on him. Like, he got, like, not that far. KTMs, man. I'm telling you. Hey, Tommy. It's the dude. Yeah, do your own thing. If you build it, they will come. Pop shout. Pop shout. I would like to ride one. I mean, there's a ton of bikes I'd like to ride. I just, I'm definitely afraid. See, Wanderers knows what I'm talking about. What up, David? Hype! 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 Thank you for that. Thank you for that sticker. Hey, Dave. Well, uh, hey from uh, Oregon. Man, that's a great question, Super Speedway. Hardest part about running my channel. I think, honestly, for me, it's the frustration of what we were just talking about. Like, you put a lot of work into a, a video that you think is very good, and then YouTube just, the algorithm just decides not to show it to anyone. Not even your own subscribers. Like, I have videos that'll get 400 views, and I have 12,000 subscribers. People, it just doesn't show it to them. They don't get notified that it exists. That's the most frustrating thing. The hardest part is probably keeping up on content and trying to think about all the other stuff, like social media and whatnot. All right, we're going to spin this for David. Thank you, David. It's happening. It's spinning. It's happening. It's happening. Secret word. All right, David. We got it early. So, what is the secret word, David? For those of you who do not know, the secret word is kind of like Pee Wee's Playhouse. The old show, if you watched it, when they would have a word of the day, and anytime anyone said it, everyone would be like, ah! Except, uh, David's gonna give me a word, and whenever I say it, you guys all have to point out, be like, ah, drink! And I have to drink, and you have to drink every time it's said. So, it's a little bit of strategy, right? Because if you, like, make it something simple, or something common like the, then I won't be able to finish the live stream. But if you make it something like rutabaga, then that one doesn't get said very often. I'll have to work a little harder to work it in, so. What do you think? What do you think, uh, David? What are we doing, bud? Get your stickers yet? Yeah, Winterson, I would like to ride that um, that CSC adventure bike they have. They like the four hundred dollar one, the four hundred CC one. McLovin, what are you drinking? Irish whiskey. The knights who say. That's not that's not the right one. Yeah, Jim, that sucks, dude. Grand Royal Peach. Secret word is Lil Dork. Okay. 
Okay, everyone. The secret word is Lil Dork. Lil Dork. I'm gonna need another ice cube before long. I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. I drank a giant soda before I started, so the need to urinate will probably appear soon. Sorry. Well, that's weird, David, because I mailed them. Uh, you're going to get them soon. Because I mailed them, like, Wednesday. So, should only take a couple days. Oh, well, actually, the post office is, sucks right now because they changed a bunch of their, po their policies. So, might take a little longer than normal. Kill big. I saw that at the liquor store and thought of you. I anyway, didn't know that. Patang zoom. What up, drop team? Yeah, catch up, McLevin. McLevin wouldn't ride with me today. I was like, do you want to go ride at San Diego? He's like, F you, guy. I don't want to ride with you. Your channel's too small. I was like, whoa, that was uncalled for. <clears throat> oh, well. You weren't there when I crashed. Mmm. This is so good. I better put that bottle away. Because one, it's too good, and two, uh, this is three, actually. Two, I don't want to drink it all. I'll get, I don't want to drink it all. I want to save some of it, because it's, it's not cheap. And they do it like in limited quantities. You can't get it all the time. This is kind of, it's the kind of whiskey, this will tell you. It's the kind of whiskey you give people you like as Christmas presents. Because there's whiskey I give people I don't like as Christmas presents, but like, Duck Fan got a bottle of this. Christmas. That's what kind of whiskey it is. McLovin did not come with me, Trail Hunter. It was just me, bud. Just me. McLovin was too cool. He's like trying to plan and pack for some family vacation. I don't know. It's more important than more important than the dork. It totally is. It should be. Yeah, you're gonna have a good time on your vacation. The weather today up there, though, I shouldn't even tell you. It was perfect. I mean, I didn't even get hot until basically right before I was I was going to leave anyway. 75-ish. Like, it was perfect. It's true, Dave. That's why i got to put it away from myself, because I'll end up unable to complete this stream and have no more whiskey, and I'll be sad because I like it a lot. I have to, I have to switch to one of these bottles. Did I tell you guys I had another issue with uh, a Flaviar delivery? And to their credit, here's the thing. The problem is not Flaviar. It's the company that they ship with, GLS. GLS is garbage. Sorry if you work for GLS, but they're garbage. Um, but Flaviar doesn't actually ship directly. They have vendors that send stuff, and the vendor picks, well, whatever. But every time I contact Flaviar, because they always send me a thing that's like, they're like, uh, oh, how was your last order? And I'm always like, Two stars. Shipping sucks ass. And they're, and then, to their credit, they email me right away almost every time. They usually give me a, a, a credit, which is not what I'm after. I honestly just kind of bring it up every time because I'm hoping that eventually if they got enough reports, they might find a way to stop using that company. I don't know. It's not like I'm not angling to get free stuff. I just want them to know that their shipping company sucks, and it makes me think about not renewing. <clears throat> um, Dork is a Richard... Dork is a dick. Uh, Harry and Kim, yeah, she wants to get it. She, you just you got to be 16 or 17 when I got mine here in Oregon. So she's got a while to go. But she talks a lot about getting her motorcycle license when she can drive. Oh, McLevin, all due respect so none. Because I'm not doing any respect. Look at me. I don't deserve your respect. <clears throat> Trail, didn't you already say that, bud? Or is it something else? Awesome, Tommy. Yeah, this is one thing I love about summer is when it's hot down here in the valley, if I head up in the woods, it's at least 10 degrees cooler, sometimes more. Bust out a dance move. I gotta drink more for that, bud. Faux show. Faux show. Faux show. Yeah, I, she wants to get it. I mean, it makes me a little anxious, but 
I'd like her to have it just so we can connect trails and stuff. I don't know how I would feel about her riding around town all the time just because other drivers are assholes and idiots, as you all know. Um, it's dangerous. But she's not a, she's not going to be a teenage boy, so she won't have that testosterone problem, which makes things a lot more dangerous, which is nice. Yeah, the mountains today, man. It was so gorgeous. I'll show you guys some pictures in a bit. Did you guys see my crash? short video that I put on on Instagram it was so funny too because as I was crash you know you go back and watch it and everything happens so fast but when you're crashing like in like adrenaline kicks in and everything kind of slows down right and I was literally thinking like as I was going down oh the camera is gonna hit the ground that'll be really good video <laughs> all this went through my head as I was crashing and it totally hits the ground and it goes black Trail Hunter, your favorite thing is that I said I was new. I was new. And as I rode more, I shared that I'm now intermediate. And I feel that I am. Uh, I don't know about pro. It's interesting you mentioned that because I got a comment today from a guy that said, Oh, you've been riding for four years, so this is a beginner's opinion. And it made me think because... No? Like, how long have you... How long... This is a good question for you guys. How long did you ride for before you felt like you were no longer a beginner. How long did it take you to be like, okay, I'm not a beginner anymore. I kind of know a few things. Yes, Dad, gotta get that footy. Today was the DRZ, Tommy. Because I do not think, I do not think of myself as a beginner anymore. And I don't know when that changed. I mean, I would be a douchebag. I guess I don't have the right... I don't know. That's not true. I was going to say I can't give beginners advice if I'm a beginner too, but you totally can. In fact, you have a unique perspective as a beginner. That's a great time to be talking about it because you understand. Because I start to forget now what it was like to be new. Yeah, it depends, it depends on what you're doing, for sure. I mean, I'm a beginner at some things. I'm better at others. Yeah, it was, it was seriously not a bad crash at all, Tom. It was like in my first 15 minutes, I just got up, hammered the handguard over and took off again. It just looks way better in the video, or way worse in the video. Right, that's what I'm saying. So you get to decide when you're not a beginner. I'm not saying there's a hard and fast. I'm asking you, like, when did you, or did you? Maybe you didn't. I don't know. But I, I feel like it was recent to where I feel like, okay, I've got... Like, I have enough of a base of skills that I can at least figure out how to approach things, whereas for a while I was just terrified of everything. And I'm not talking about, like, expert. I'm just talking about beginner. Like, I actually have a video idea brewing, like, five moments in the life of a motorcyclist, but one of them is the first time you ride and realize you're not thinking about the controls. You're just doing it, right? That's one thing that takes you from a beginner to intermediate or beginner to a novice or whatever is things are automatic, muscle memory, right? Not, okay, I need to pull the clutch in. Okay, I need to pull the front brake. Not too much, right? You just do it. Like that's a big step on your journey. <laughs> wisdom. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'd apply the word wisdom to me, but thank you, Trail. Bot, why are you posting three messages in a row? You suck. Yeah, dude, so you're used to living in a basic state of fear. I get it. Same. Yeah, it's an excellent point, Tommy. You do go back. For sure. If I stopped riding for a year, I would be, be... I feel like I'm a beginner again every time I go out. Even today, I had to warm up and get my confidence again. And I rode trails last week. Like, it takes a little bit. For sure. A couple summers before you felt comfortable on the road. Yeah. Yeah. Seems about right. You're always going to be learning. I'm not implying that you're not learning. I'm just saying, at what point did you f did you stop feeling like you were going to shit your pants every time you got on the bike? I have a friend who just got a motorcycle and is learning, and the things that she's posting are really taking me back. Like, ah, I was afraid to go on the highway, but I, I did it today. Stuff like that. I remember I was terrified of the freeway for a year. I wouldn't. I got on by mistake one time. It was like clueless. I freaked out and got right off. But now I don't, it doesn't bother me at all. I prefer it. It's faster. The 
McLevin rides, yeah, but McLevin rides 10 hours a day, four days a week. So, um, you know, that whole 10,000 hours to be an expert thing, he gets there a lot fastest. No, I'm not talking about being a pro. I'm just talking about not being a beginner. When did you feel competent? When did you feel like you had your skills under you? I am, if I ever come to you and say, I am, now, I am now a doctor of motorcycling, please stop watching me because I'll be full of shit and delusional and I'll have nothing. It's always, I say this all the time in videos, whenever I start to feel a little confident, that is when I crash. You need to be a little scared. <laughs> five months of winter yeah man I don't I, it's nice about being here in a very temperate area is I don't have to stop riding I have to be okay with riding in the rain but I can ride I can ride all year I don't store my bikes I just ride them in the rain a lot we're lucky yeah sometimes that's good guys it's good that we're also self-aware you're all very self-aware which is excellent because obviously if I was like, when did you feel like you knew everything about motorcycling? The answer should be never. Because you will kill yourself if you think you're a super bomb. Awesome at it. Uh, 250R and an ST1300? I would say they're quite different, guys. Yeah, we're lucky, Winterson. Yeah, I like to live in the 75-80% range. Enough to grow and push yourself and have fun, but not that I'm scared. I had a little mishap today where I got in over my head. It wasn't the crash, actually. I kept saying, it's pretty funny, because all day I was like, okay, this technical stuff is fine, and the sandy stuff is fine. I just don't want to get on a big sandy uphill, and I came around a corner, and there was a big sandy uphill. Um, and I was in second gear, and I was not set up, and I, I still have so many bad habits. I sit down when I get anxious. I should be standing up, right? It's so much easier. And I'm learning that, at least. I know it in my head, but instinctually, I don't do it. So I ended up getting stuck on the hill and had to start up and take off again. No good. And you raced MX. That's awesome trail. Um, I have to run and... Well, I'd make up some excuse, but I have to pee. So, uh, and I'm going to get another ice cube for my, for my whiskey. So that'll take like a minute. So why don't you guys talk amongst yourselves about uh, if you could design the perfect motorcycle, what would it be? I'll tell you my answer when I get back. Some of you already know it. Some of you already know it. Oh, trail. I got to pee. Oh, I always spin when I get back. First thing. Dog, don't knock things over. Also, a little dork. Ah. I gotta switch boozes. You guys wanna pick? You wanna help me pick? All right, I'll give you three choices. You tell me which one I should have. Um, this is a tat. This is tattoosh. This is actually bottled in Seattle. This was a present from um, Duckman. Or uh, these are all open, so it's good. Let's just go with these three. So tattoosh. Bullet 10 bourbon, really good. Or Russell's Reserve 10-year, also really good. Which one should I have? 
Oh man, you guys are saying awesome stuff. Light cycle from Tron, winner! Oh, second opinion, you took mine. Except made by Honda. Electric bike with 250 mile range. Yeah, and light, not all battery, right? You guys heard me say it. Pay double for having to pee. Reserve. I got Russell's reserve. Anybody else want to vote? Double. That's two for Russell. It is good stuff. All right. Which company makes this? I forget. It's in the, it's like a pretty famous or it's a pretty prominent brand. This is another of theirs. Can't remember. Let's look what it would say. I don't know. I gotta catch up to you guys. So I even got regular ice instead of trying to take one of those cute or one of the ice balls out of the mold because it takes too long. All for you guys. Man, it gets dusty out here. Busting into my good stuff. I uh, I have a real tendency to just drink my my daily drinker favorites, and I'm just constantly out of them, and then that's all I ever get to buy. So if I I can't keep Elijah Craig or um, Elijah Craig, Larceny, Knob Creek, and Buffalo Trace, those are my favorite sort of everyday drinkers, and I'm I'm out of one of them always. Right now, I don't have any Elijah Craig or Larceny. Um, but I have a Knob Creek and a fresh bottle of Buffalo Trace. Hi, Sender. Mm, that Russell's is good. Went to motorcycle off a tree that also the rider pin. That is bad. Man, all everyone said Russell's. Awesome. Okay. It's good. Yeah, yeah, Jay. I've had, I've had several bottles of Larceny. It doesn't stay around. Oh yeah, it might be time. Oh, I didn't crack the garage door. I need to do that. This is my drink for saying the word, by the way. Mike, I had the exact same thing. Happened to me. All right, spinning it. This is for trail. Spin it for trail. Secret word, trail. You want to change the word? What do you want? I'm going to go crack the door. is I can't crack it too much because Chungus will crawl out under the door because he's an idiot. Uh, I don't have any crown actually. I used to drink crown all the time now that you mention it. Uh, Mike, I wrote it and it was really fun but it was honestly, it was on the edge of too much for me. Probably not now that I've gotten used to the DRZ but it was definitely fun. No, DRZ is a great bike. Are you going to click all night? I got it. Oh my god. I set off the thing on the garage door and now it's just clicking incessantly. I'll be back. It's fine, Chungus. It's fine. Okay, so I might enjoy Mr. Puff Puff while we're all here together. Good, thanks for stopping by, Tommy. Hey, Parker. Sorry, I keep leaving. The secret word is drink. We're screwed, bro. We are screwed. Okay, secret word is drink, starting now. Um, which is actually a really fun one when you play games involving imbibing. That's one of my favorite rules. So, I got, I told you I got some cigars from Cigarvid, but uh, one of the boxes, or one of the packages I got was, these are Macanudos. They're pretty small. I, I ended up getting five inches. I didn't realize I was getting them that short, but for the price fine but macanudo macanudo is is no is legit it's like a decent real decent company no i gotta find my lighter also um important to note that i don't condone or endorse the smoking of tobacco products i'm not trying to influence your children it's definitely a do as i do as i say not as i do situation but uh yeah, no. Let's see. I'm in Oregon, Dave. Yeah, I've heard a lot of things about 
um, first gear, and, and there's like a flame out issue, I guess, on the 450Ls. Lighter Africa Twin, cruise control, center stand, one hand adjustable windshield, and electric outlet. It's all from the factory for about 12K. Okay, good luck, bud. Uh, maybe when the Africa Twin 850 comes out. I mean, soils, I was riding a 300 plus pound bike on single track today. I survived. My AT has a center stand, but not stock. Yeah, it's mostly a joke, Trail Hunter, but just in case, YouTube's out there. And some people um, would prefer that I not endorse it. What, uh... Africa Twin, hell of a bike. Four fifty. You mean the twenty twenty one four fifty RL? Because <laughs> they added a letter. I made a whole video on why I didn't buy one, but price is a big factor. Center stand is so nice to have. Chain maintenance, I love it. And if I ever have to change a tire, mm, be. And you can do front or back because you just put a little weight on the back and the front tire will come off the ground. Isn't that funny, Mike? Because YouTube doesn't care if you drink. I got a real good deal on these. A smoking deal, you might say. Smoking. You guys think the giant loop ride is still going to happen? I'm beginning to get worried. It's two months away. <sighs> I'm worried. If not this year, the next year? I'm honestly, I mean, like, I, I want to go and I'll be sad if it gets canceled, but I'm more worried I feel bad for them that having to, like, refund all that money. That would suck. Yeah, Trail, honestly, I've. I care less because now you can self-certify your videos, so uh, I tell YouTube when there's objectionable content in them and they make adjustments accordingly, so I just demonetize this one ahead of time. We'll see. I figured it was worth a shot. If it gets flagged or deleted, then I'll know not to do it again. So, somebody ex um, elaborate on what the flame-out issue is. Does it die? Is that what we're talking about? Or is there something else going on? Oh, I said the D word. Damn it. Get a little dork and have her tell us what she really thought about the 250. Well, she's not here. And I thought she did that last week. Did she not? Yeah, by the way, if you, uh, if you have a channel and you haven't already been shouted out by me or shouted yourself out, do it. Uh, we want to spread the love. We want everyone to watch all the awesome video makers in our community. So go subscribe to McLovin if you haven't. Go subscribe to Stag ADV if you haven't. Um, and it helps us all because the more people that watch our videos, like if you watch my video and you watch McLovin's video, then both of our videos will show up more for you. And when you watch each other's videos, so like everyone wins. Can't slip the clutch on your bike, Sender. That's sort of important. I had a minor, uh, a minor clutch slipping issue today, but when I got that handguard adjusted again, I was able to use it again. That was a little concerning. That's one thing that sucked about going out by yourself is I kept thinking like if I break this and I have to walk back ten miles, it wasn't even that four or five miles in this heat in my in these stupid motocross boots, I'm gonna be pissed. At least when you ride with somebody, there's another bike you can always ride dust to butts all the way back. By the way, I like to do this with a little dork. More, please. The Mrs. Yep. Awesome. Yeah. I want to make more. I'm glad you guys... I, honestly, I worry that they're boring to you guys because we kind of take it slower and don't really do anything super exciting. So that's really nice to hear. Thank you. Soils, thank you. I'm about to spin it for you, bud. You can adjust it. You can adjust it, Cinder. 
does it all if it's adjusted all the way out then you probably need a clutch but it, you should be able to adjust it down if it's not destroyed trust me i've destroyed one so i know this is for soils not solis soils change hat god i can get up um all right they're right over there i'm gonna get my steel hat i think that one's fun this is a good cigar so loud, I bet, when I'm right here because I'm so close to the mic. Ah, Lildorf's been wearing my hats and they're all like super tight. There we go. Steel. Ugh. Yeah, it depends on the audience. And not everybody likes everything and that's okay. Me too, D. My favorite thing is knowing that when she's older, we're going to be able to look back on the, watch these videos and you know, you'd have vague memories of trips and rides together normally, but I got like a full on video. Like we can fully re-experience it. Like that's half the reason I make the videos with her is because I want to have them as a record to look back on. Beats, beats taking pictures. It's not that hard to set up, Chris. <coughs> um, I just followed Jake the Garden Snake's latest. He uh, was not his latest, but he did a video on how to set up your helmet for motovlogging. And I just basically copied his setup. Um, Chase on two, no. Uh, do it with Dan, had one a while ago too, that was really good. Yeah, editing's the hardest thing, but I don't know if you heard my podcast interview with Ben Motorcycle Adventures, but he was like, what advice would you, and it's like, you gotta make bad videos to learn how to make good videos. Like, you just have to do it. How are you gonna ever learn how to edit if you don't edit badly at first right you gotta get to the bad stuff to get the it's not even bad just like less refined stuff you have to practice so anything worth doing is worth doing badly at first you just gotta do it there's i started with a uh a refurbished gopro hero 3 that cost me a hundred dollars and windows movie maker which is a free editing program on my shitty old computer that's what i started with and it was enough i made a hundred videos on that with that setup I don't have a husky hat, so I have a steel hat. What's pretty funny is uh, most of my f people who know, well, I think, so my buddy's uncle was a world champion logger, and he I think he was sponsored by steel. What the hell? There's a large bug in here. Holy shit, that thing is huge. What is that? It's a, If it lands on me, I'm going to freak out. It's like a giant beetle. It's like this big. Oh, if Mrs. Com the dog is super curious. If Mrs. comes out here, she's going to be pissed. I must have come in under the door. <sighs> yeah, McLovin's getting it. Unfortunately, McLovin keeps trying to emulate this terrible-ass role model. Role model's the wrong word. Just like colleague. We're colleagues, basically. Oh, shit, I revealed that it was me. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I upgraded. Movie Maker was shitty. I'm using Vegas Pro these days because I got it for 20 bucks in a humble bundle. One cat is in here, and he's really good. So Chungus is in here. You haven't seen him, but he's got mad bug catching skills. Uh, I'll never forget. Sorry, I'm trying to fix my hat. Um, one night, oh, where's my ashtray? We were sitting watching TV, and a fly landed on the TV, and Chungus pops up on the TV stand, and he just goes like this, and ate the fly like it was gone like that. So he can do it. He can do it. I don't know why I don't know why he wants to eat flies, but whatever. Whatever, whatever. Oscar, this is a Macanudo Inspirado, but I just got some Gurkhas in the same shipment. Don't laugh, but they're the Black Ops because they were the ones that were on sale. It comes with an armband. <laughs> what do I do with it? What's right here? The Black Ops. You can't see that probably. It's an armband. The the Gurkha Black Ops cigars come with it so i got a smoking deal literally on those um it might be it might be oscar 450l stalls out on technical yeah i would not want a bike that stalls out in technical terrain you shouldn't have to do mods on a bike that costs you ten thousand dollars 
to make it work. McLovin, I disagree. Just because you have a lot of subscribers doesn't mean you're doing something right. Sometimes you just got really lucky. There are plenty of YouTubers out there that I would consider not great that have way more subscribers than me. Not to say that I consider myself great, but... I, I just want to be tolerable. Like, that's my goal. Send a 10C, that'll be cool. Gurkhas are motivated troops. Said, are you trying to get me to make a, a blunt? Feels weird to be smoking on camera. Da Vinci Resolve. Yeah, Jay, I proactively demonetize my own stream. Oh yeah, Jay, you got it. Yeah, I gotta tell you, I said I'm not. I'm not that into the reefers. I'd rather just drink. the gold D because if I didn't like making them I would stop making them because I don't make enough money to make it worth it this hobby doesn't pay for itself my YouTubing doesn't even pay for itself with all the shit with all the cameras I bought and everything else and microphones and lighting set up out here but it sure has made the garage videos look a lot better so totally worth it Ukukri I don't have a kuki kuk I didn't say that word. Kukri? Kukiri? Those things are kick-ass, though. What the hell's going on, Stag? You should cancel it and start it over. You would upload in like 20 minutes if you did. Right. In fact, if I made a profit, I would have to call it a business. And right now, it's just a tax write-off up to what I spend on it. No, up to what I earn, not to what I spend. I can't write off more than I earn, and I don't earn that much. Well, thanks, Oscar. Uh, sure, McLevin. So he took it for the my my neighbor borrowed my bras for for the weekend last weekend. He took it up to La Pine because he's got a got some property up there. Rode it around. Uh, he brought it back. Uh, full of gas, totally washed. He buffed the scratches out of the tank. That. Uh, that my tick bag put on when it was sliding around when it came off. So I was like, what else of mine do you want to borrow? Because it seems to come back in better condition. So he seemed to enjoy it. That's weird, Stag. Yeah, exactly. A hobby, a hobby being a business means it's no longer fun, right? <laughs> hey, Razor. All kinds of shit going on, bro. You know us. We're all over the place. Yeah, yeah, my neighbor's bird. He's pretty badass. He's on here sometimes. He pops on every once in a while. Comments on videos and stuff. Yeah, so if I ever sell the bras, he's first in line. Although my brother really wants to buy it too, so maybe I can get a bidding war going. I did. I had another friend, Scott, who you've seen in a video or two. Uh, he really wanted to maybe buy it, and I was like, you should ride it first. And he took it and went riding it, shotgun with his, with his son, and came back and was like, yeah, I probably don't want to buy that. I was like, I told you. He's like five inches taller than me and as heavy as I am, so it's not, it's just not, if you're out there trying to seek thrills, it's transportation. It's not necessarily like an extreme shenanigans mobile. Proper lighting is nice. I'm not ready to sell it yet. But here's, here's where I'm at, McLovin. If you want the honest truth. I went out and I took it trail riding and I shot that video. I'm going to put it up. That's probably my next riding video, so... Shit, might be Monday. I probably need to edit that this weekend. Uh, we'll see how it does. Because if bronze videos do well, I might just hang on to it. Once the DRZ like new luster has worn off, I won't mind not taking it occasionally if I can make some bronze content. Because my bronze videos, like four or five of them are in my top 30 consistently. Daily view getters. So it might be worth hanging on to. And again, and it's also, like we talked about before, I just feel bad selling it. I don't think... It's a stupid thing, but I feel bad thinking about selling it when they gave it to me to make content on, you know? Feel guilty. 
I feel guilty. That's why I decided not to do the sponsored videos that I got offered. Well, that and because it was product <laughs> that I don't actually want, so. If it's stuff I want, yes, that I would use, that I think will be interesting to you guys, sure. Um, but it was mirrors, motorcycle mirrors, and I don't, I've got double takes. I guess I don't have decent mirrors on the on the CRF. I could have put it on there. I've got double takes on the twin and the DRZ. I'm not going to replace those. I wish double take would like be like, bro, you want you want some mirrors? And I'd be like, I want to give them away to my community. Hey B, what is up? Yep, you're right, David. And that's why I want to put it. That's why I took it trail riding because it's like it's time to put this thing to the test and, and really show people what it can do and what it can't do. That was what I was hoping that attention deficit would do when he got his was like beat the shit out of it. I'm not quite at beat the shit out of it yet, although Duck Fan really wants me to like ride it through a river. Yeah, I will say the bras surprises me pleasantly every time, but long term, like thousands of miles on it, I don't know. That's the big question mark. I It's not a bike that I see anyone who buys keeping for a long time. It's not a forever bike. It's a great starter bike, especially if you don't know for sure that you're going to want to keep riding. There's no cheaper way to get into it. I mean, first or last. You guys want to see some pictures from today? I took some really good pictures today. I'll show you on the stream. Oh, I haven't posted them on, on Patreon yet, but I'll do that soon. I got home in just enough time to take a shower and then I got a work phone call I was on for like an hour and then barely got the thumbnail done when I ended up not getting to use and then got everything set up, ate dinner and got on. Shake and bake. Everything I do is cool on camera, my love. Everything I do. Dismiss. My stream was 96 seconds, it says. Let's see, let's look. Um. Okay, but I like to go. I'll show you all the photos I showed my wife because good times. All right, let's see if we can get it to actually show up. Um, let's give it a try. Hey, there it is. I can see it. Okay, and my dog is barking. Dog, shut up. So, you guys. The staging area at San Amo HV is awesome. It's very small, but it's all these little pull-ins like campsites. So, it's totally in the shade. And there was only one other person there when I got there. So, I totally got... I can't see chat, by the way. So, I apologize because it's not on the TV. But I'll, I'll flip back and forth. Um, but this is, I got a better picture. That's, this was my staging area parking spot. Pretty good. Pretty good. And yes, I was looking up the advertiser friendly content guidelines. So what? I want to know if I could smoke on, on Scream or not. Scream? Stream. TT250. Yeah, I'd like to ride one. It's fire, McLovin. It's true, it is. It is fire. So this is. And this looks nicer than it is because there's another spot right behind me, but it's a great spot to unload. I filmed the video there, so you'll get a good, you'll get an extensive look at it. Um, that's my face. I want you to know how clean the bike is. Okay, this was at the beginning. It's very clean. And I'm also very clean. That didn't last. That's a stupid look on my face, so we'll skip that one. Look how clean the DRZ is. And I haven't washed it, I just hose it off once in a while. I ride too often to wash my bike. It's just like super dirty again right after. I ain't a supermodel. There it is again. I'm gonna look at chat. Sender, your dad has excellent taste in, in trucks. Okay, this is boring. So this was right after I crashed. I want to take a picture of it laying on the ground, but gas was pouring out of the carburetor, so I picked it up first. But it was, that's very flat. I crashed in the dumbest place. I don't. I legitimately don't know what happened. The front washed out on me. Something happened. I think it's because I was sitting, being lazy, so I didn't have enough weight on the front, so it washed out on me when I turned. I didn't have enough speed in the corner. I was taking it too easy. I was pussyfooting around a little bit. That's me after I crashed. This is my beard sticking out the bottom. <clears throat> Crew cap. I love the desert. I love the sand color. So nice. So nice. What up, Devil Dog? We're just looking at some pictures from today. Um, this one turned out okay. So that's Three Finger Jack, which is a mountain. Not a euphemism. It's actually a mountain. and But you can see the sandy sort of trails out there. Uh, Stag, if you're still here, 
I shouted you out again today because your tire recommendation, it is a thousand times better than the last time I was there in this loose stuff. They work really well in sand. I'm very surprised. But uh, I thought that one turned out pretty good. These will all show up on Instagram eventually. Um, this was the first viewpoint I went to. So this is, you guys can see my cursor, right? You totally can. This is uh, the Three Sisters. This is Mount Washington, no snow left. And this is Hoodoo, the ski area. Pretty cool. There's a couple pictures from, yeah, this is better. <laughs> see Hoodoo, Mount Washington. This is the Three Sisters. That's Broken Top. Sorry, the dog is barking because people are outside. How dare people be outside? How dare they? But everyone give me shit for not coming with me and missing out on all these views today. Sucks. Yeah, Stag, I'll be curious to see how long they last. Um, but I don't give a shit. If I get a year out of them for the price, I'm doing well. And I don't ride on the road that much, so I'll probably get two years. I, I, I anticipate I'll get a year out of the back and two out of the front. That's my guess. So, $75 every year and tires, pretty good. It's less than I paid for one D606 on the rear. I'd be really interested to see how they wear compared to Lil Dort's tires on the Sierra. Um, I took a bunch of pictures from the same spot. Pretty interesting ride up to here. And I found a back way in which is awesome because I want to go camping at Lost Lake, which is right there. But you can, from Lost Lake, you can go up the highway, get on the highway. It's literally a quarter mile. And then there's a road you can turn off to a snow park and take it up and you're in this OHV area. Because it's a snowmobile area. In the winter, obvs. Um, that's my stupid face, just FYI. This one turned out pretty good. This was up on top. Nope, same spot. It's a little technical on the ground. We got into some fun technical stuff today. I say technical a lot. Oh no, this is the other. So this is the badass viewpoint. Um, this is Big Lake, very creatively named. Same mountain, but this is from a different spot. This is a different viewpoint. I got some really good pictures from here. It was beautiful up there. Probably the best viewpoint I've found. Yeah. One of these is the thumbnail for this video. Probably this one. My dog is an idiot and I'm Chewy. Chewy, can we not please? It's very loud on the microphone. I don't need you to help me live stream. Thank you, though. Thank you for telling everyone that you're in here. <sighs> the mountain looks so good. No snow, though. It's all melted, basically. Um, this one actually turned out pretty good, I thought, with the front of the bike. Not bad. Oh, I'm going to slip over to chat because I'm missing all the good stuff you guys are saying. Who do do you do? Brown sand bike and wear white and black like the biker's got awesome, David. Two tears. Yeah, you cry when you buy a D606 Bob Chow. Yeah, Chris, Trackmasters. Um, Marcus, I tr I got about 300 miles on those, and about the first time I got into anything loose or muddy, I, they had to go. So I actually sold them. I ended up selling my um, my stock tires for 50 bucks. So I actually ordered the Trackmasters when I bought the bike because I got $300 in credit. Uh, Jay Rushman did the same thing. Jay's in here. And McLovin, too. So and we all are... McLovin and I both got the same tire. But they're good. I would not go those stock tires unless I was going to ride on the road a lot. I, I knew they had to go. Metzler mid-hearts. Nice. She go 241s. Good. Break-in? Just take it easy. I don't... These bikes... One, they, they do a lot of the break-in shit at the factory. And two, uh, it's a tried-and-true design. I, you don't have to take it that easy. I just rode it. I just rode it. I took it out of trail, rode it, rode it around. I did some, just don't, don't ride at a high consistent RPM for a long period of time. Avoid that. So if you go on the highway, just try to go back and forth between like 55, 60, 60, 65. But other than that, I rode it for 500 miles, changed the oil, done. I'm not even worried about it anymore. Okay, yeah, Chungus, Chungus is good. Yeah, Mike, I thought so too. Winterson, I'm enjoying him so far. Uh, I haven't ridden them on the street much, but I don't ride on the street much. It's why I bought a 90-10 tire. But they are re they've been really good in mud, sand. McLovin can chime in too because he's got some time on his. And Stag, he's got, he rocks the, um, the Trackmasters. But, and uh, Attention Deficit uses them. They're good tires. They're cheap. Um, sorry, you guys were stuck looking at the one view while I was reading chat. 
This is all from that same spot because it was so gorgeous. Uh, yeah, my fa the helmet does a number on my hair. That's my face. This is, so I sat down and just chilled out up the hill a little bit. There's a really cool, there's a black diamond uh, 4x4 trail right next to this, too. And it's, all, it's just basically all rock. This one's pretty good. That's probably the thumbnail. Except for you can't hardly see the bike. Turned out well. That's a zoomed in view of the mountains. That's the ground. <laughs> I didn't get a ton of it. It's so hard to stop and, like, I want to ride, so it's a tough balance sometimes. That's the rock I was sitting on right here. This one I thought turned out really well. And I didn't have to get off the bike. But that's Mount Washington. Not bad. Whoa, look at all the chats. Good job, guys. Oh, no worries, Marcus. Marcus, I am not an expert, though, so I just... I know you don't have to baby them to the degree that they tell you to. Just take it easy. Avoid, especially in the first 100 miles, consistent high RPMs. Other than that, I think you're fine. Yeah, McLovin says good. Marcus, if you're going to buy them, use my, uh, use my Amazon affiliate link. I'm kidding. I'm not kidding. Like, if you are going to buy them from Amazon, click on my link, everybody wins. But uh, it's cool, man. Although, you can link right to the right sizes on my DRZ video. My mods video. Nosy on the street, but not terrible. 1,400 miles. Yeah, good. Why do most people not give thumbs up? I don't know, Soils. Yeah, events is real nice. Did you go back to Shotgun? Oh, that's right, with the boys. With the boys. That's what I was using today, exclusively. Events is real nice. Events is an app that'll take a PDF of the, um, of the, wherever you're riding. So, like, if you have the trail map, and it'll put you on there on GPS. So, you know, like, and it shows which direction you're pointing. So, you know what right and left is. So nice for not getting lost. I still get lost, but, um, so helpful for navigating. That's why you can see my phone. It's obviously in the pictures, it's not, you can't see actually. The quad lock right here in this picture, that's where my phone lives all day while I'm riding because I use the navigation. That's it really, it's not Hog Rock, this is the other butte that's up there. I don't remember the name. But that's a huge, the views up there are just gorgeous. They're just gorgeous. Just amazing. Some good riding today and I didn't scratch the surface of what's up there. I rode almost all the green tail trails and half of the blues, but in terms of the roads and all the all the, the viewage and stuff to see, I didn't scratch the surface today. That one I thought turned out pretty good. That's the tree butt that I found. <laughs> right where I loaded my bike. Tree butt, that's what I called it. Um, that was me trying to get a cool stylized photo and failing. Oh, and this is Three Finger Jack again. See how much dirtier the bike is from the beginning? Real dusty up there today. I got stuck behind some super slow guys on a trail and ended up getting real dusty. Made me feel good about myself that I called him, honestly. Um, that's the trail. This is what the roads look like. They look like trails. Oh, and this is me crashing. You guys want to watch it? Okay. Let's watch Let's watch me crash, if it'll load. If you guys haven't seen this yet. If it doesn't load, I'm not going to show you. <laughs> oh, it cracked me up. It looks so much cooler than it felt. I was not going that fast. I didn't think. Honestly, it looks way worse than I thought even because um, people, I posted it and people were like, are you okay? And it was not a hard crash at all. You bought him, Marcus? Good for you, bud. Yeah, Avenza, real good. Uh, Chris, three years now. Three years making videos. Yeah, I wanted to do a group... Honestly, I wanted to do a group camp and ride this year, but then, I don't know if you heard, but there's a global pandemic. So, we didn't, we weren't able to make that happen this year. Yeah, the blues, so the Forest Service blues are generally more, they're better leveled. Like, I will ride any blue at East Fort Rock and here. Not like um, Huckleberry where the difficulty shoots up a ton. Soils, I can almost do a wheelie. <coughs> Jumps are easier. Yeah, I washed out. I didn't have enough weight on the front. I was sitting down. 
It's my fault. I know that I don't carry enough speed into the corners and I don't stand up enough. I get lazy, but I also, I'm just, I'm not, I don't, I haven't done any conditioning for riding, so. I can stand up when I need to. You can see, dog, that's not necessary. You can see right here, the spare tire. Um, I'm not like, I'm not Meg's Brap. I'm not doing cardio to get better at riding. This is a spin for soils, by the way. So I was just trying to bribe me to do wheelie. I can get closer. 185. All right, Soils, give us a topic. Person, place, or thing. Do you want to do, you want to do wheelies, bud? Uh, Winterson, I just bit the bullet uh, because they run a, a, a special every once in a while for 30% off, and I got Onyx. Onyx Premium, and it it's actually really good. It'll show you where the gates are. It'll show you what gates are closed. That's what I've been using because Google Maps is fine, except that it always leads me down roads that are closed, or it doesn't. Google Maps is fine on the road and on the major roads, but when you get off on the side roads, it doesn't know where the hell they are. I've been lost more than once. Um, one disadvantage to Onyx is it, there's no turn by turn. You can't just be like, I want to go here, tell me how to get there. You have to kind of plot it out, but you can do it on the website. You don't have to do it on your phone. Awesome, Razor. Where are you going? Soils. Give us that topic, bruh. Or should we do it about wheelies? 185 wheelies walk into a bar bartender says we don't serve wheelies here wheelie says come on i'm wheelie thirsty ah mike excellent question so i don't know if you saw my uh the review i did a couple weeks ago on the icon field armor that's what i've been wearing for armor this year and it's very comfortable flows a ton of air so i wear that uh, I have a jersey, Icon jersey. I have my Bell MX-9 helmet. And then I just bought some O'Neill motocross pants. And I've got a pair of uh, Alpine Stars Vapor Pro knee, knee pads that I got for $10 on clearance. They fit in my boots real good. And then I wear the O'Neill Rider boots. They're basically the cheapest decent motocross boots you can buy. That's for trails. And then when I'm riding in the woods, um, I got some Alpine Stars Corazals which were recommended by Stag and a few other guys. Stag, right? Did you recommend those? A couple of you recommend them. They're really good boots. Duck farts? Jesus. That'll be tough. Dunlap Lake. Never been there. Easy trail riding. I mean, elbow pads. If you want a basic setup, elbow pads, knee pads. You have to have motocross boots if you're going to ride trails. You have to. After your head... Lower leg injuries are the second most common, and I have been saved by those boots so many times. You can get a pair of O'Neill Rider boots for $110. They're plenty protective. I would highly recommend it. And then um, some sort of chest armor is nice, but I wouldn't call it essential if you're taking it easy. But elbow pads and gloves for sure. Oh, and I have I have a pair of... Um, I'm blanking. Revit sand gloves, but I've also just been wearing my old uh, Raiden... Uh, Icon Raiden... What the hell are they called? You can't get them anymore. They don't make them anymore, but Arrakis, I think, gloves. They're pretty good. There should be links, actually, in the description to most of this. Um, most of my gear is linked in the description by default of every video. Check it. Yeah. If you're going to ride trails at all, get motocross boots. One bad crash. Not even a crash. I constantly slam my feet between... Uh, stumps or rocks on the side of the trail and the case of my engine the case of my engine idiot um, a lot so they have saved me and they just make standing up so much easier because instead of standing on a narrow ass peg it's just a platform for you to stand on yep chest protector for sure I just don't I wouldn't call it essential on easy trails but I definitely wear one sorry what did we say duck farts 185 duck farts walk into a bar bartender says what's that smell duck fart says oh I think it's me 185 duck farts walk into a bar. Bartender says, we don't serve duck farts here. Duck fart says, is that a joke? Because it really quacks me up. Uh, 185 duck farts walk into a bar. Bartender says, we don't serve duck farts here. Duck fart says, oh, I don't need a drink. I just need directions. I need to get some gas. That's why you get three. Good night, Sag. Say hi to Florida for me. Mike, should be in the description of this video. I think. As, as updated as I've updated my gear list should be in there. 
Also, two tire. Yeah, good boots are expensive, but they're also worth it. In my opinion. Duck fans, duck farts stink. Gravel roads are lots of fun, and there's lots to see. Like, that's what I love about dual sport riding. Because, like, if you want to go out and, like, push it and kick ass and have, like, an adrenaline ride, you can. If you just want to go see gorgeous shit and take it easy, you can also do that. Like, so versatile. Yeah, Mike, just get out there. I hope you have something cool near you. Are you close to anything good? Living in the valley sucks ass. I gotta go an hour to get anywhere good. The closest is the shotgun area. And actually, I can be there in about half an hour. I can get there in about half an hour. But for half an hour, it's not worth throwing the bike in the truck. I just ride it. Yeah, trailer rental. Do you not have a truck, Mike? And it's... This is what sucks, and there are some purists out there that will give you shit for this, but I don't want to wear my trail riding gear on the street. It's not, It's got zero slide protection, so I personally really enjoy trucking my bike out there and then putting all my gear on, uh, because the gear I wear on the highway is not the gear I don't want to wear on trails. And, like today, I was thinking about it today, so shot, um, I went to Sandy MOHV, it is 60 miles from the nearest gas station, so if I gassed up in Sweet Home, rode all the way up there, I wouldn't even be able to get back to Sweet Home, let alone ride. You got sometimes you gotta truck it. Good night, Dave. Yeah, Winter Sun. I used to think I wanted to ride fast on the street, but there's these things called other drivers, <laughs> and that's they're dangerous. Also, my dog is an idiot. He really doesn't like that other people exist. I tell you what, a decent cigar lasts way longer than a cheap, shitty one. For sure, man. Good luck. Hey. Shh. That's enough. Chewbacca. I'm sorry. He's a pain in the ass. That's got to be so loud on the mic. I apologize to all of you. Gas bag. It's true. And I was going to say extra weight, but it's not because once it's empty, you just roll it up and stick it in your backpack. Awesome, Wit. Where at? I would love to take... Honestly, Ben Motorcycle Adventures, the guy that interviewed me for the podcast, he runs trail riding classes, um, off-road riding classes in Ben. They're expensive, though. I kind of thought about asking him if he'd let me take one if I videoed it and kind of advertise him. <laughs> My dog's talking to your soils. St. Paul, oh, you're in, a, in the city. Yeah, that's got to suck. It's true, yeah. It, I fall down, pick it up. Uh, B, she likes it. She loves it, actually. I tried to get her back on the bras just to see if she could ride it now, and she, that didn't go well. She's, she's spoiled. She wants, to ride, she wants to ride the CRF all the time. She's always asking me to take her over to the fairgrounds so she can practice. <laughs> I like that, Jay. Keep going until you get tired falling. I'm tired of falling after well, after one. I gotta pull my hand guards off. I'm annoyed about that. Yeah, Cascade Lakes Highway, dude. McLevin, I'm telling you, we should we should honestly ride the twins up to Santa Am and then just put around up there on them, because that's the entrance actually to the BDR, one of the BDR routes three, I think three or six. I can never remember, but there's a bunch of lakes and stuff up there. I want to explore that area a lot. There's ATV trails where they don't allow bikes? That's some garbage. Yes, Chris. I've ridden um, a lot at Brown's. That was our favorite spot for a while. It's about two hours, less than two hours. Hour 45 minutes or so from here. Um, I love Brown's. And I love the campground at Brown's. It's so good. And it's all, you can almost always get a spot midweek because only people that are riding OHB trails can camp there. I love Browns. I need to go back now that I'm, I'm just, I'm a lot better than I was even a year ago. I think my confidence is just much higher. Yeah, Mike, we're lucky. We are so lucky. McLovin, you just have to be okay with riding in sand on your twin. McLovin, you're speaking my language, bud. 
30 minutes from your house, you're lucky. <coughs> um, Cab, how far have I taken the twin? You're going to make fun of me. Not that far. <clears throat> uh, shit. Honestly, maybe that ride that McLovin and I did to made the video, that might be as far as I've taken it. And I just don't, I just don't ride on the road much. I honestly, I feel really guilty that I spent all this money on the twin and I don't ride it more than I do I need to. Part of it is I got it for moto camping and exploring and camping has been rough this year because, again, there's this pandemic thing going on. So like the campgrounds were closed and now they're just packed all the time because people can't do anything else. And I, when I, I want to make a video and I don't like having people nearby, I, want, I don't like talking to myself when people can see me. It's stupid. I just talk myself out of stuff too much. But I want to go maybe in the fall more when there's less competition. What I need is to find a real decent dispersed site. I've yet to find a really good one. And then just start going there and moto camping. Me, Chris? I'm not in Hillsboro. Oh, you're asking Winterson. Gotcha. You were, I thought you were asking me if I could spend my winters in the Hillsboro. I do not. Well, I need to do it, Cab. I gotta get. I just need to ride it more. It's hot now. But I bought that really good Scorpion gear for hot days. So, but if it's over ninety degrees, I struggle to get on the bike. I really prefer spring and fall when it's like 75, 70. You got an AT three bikes in common. Do you have a two fifty L two, Mike? And a Durs? Or do you have a Bras too? Because I only have four bikes right now. Four, only four. Listen to me. Upper and a Celeste. Okay, that's worth checking out. I also need to go putt around Mary's Peak more because I know there's good spots up there. Got to putt. Got to find more stuff. I gotta head out that way more. Mary's Peak is gonna be my winter time because it doesn't really get super snowy. It does at Mary's Peak, but not in the coast range as much. So it's you can always go. It's gonna get rained on, but it's Oregon. If you don't ride in the rain, you don't ride. Yeah, you guys should go riding together if you're close. If you all wanna, um, there's a lot of local people in the Discord if you haven't joined, and they're setting up rides all the time. V Track was just saying that he went out with Hobbs and a few other people today. So, they're always setting up rides. Yeah, 50 degrees would be rad. I like, that's, yeah. I like, honestly, my favorite is like 60 degrees. So I can wear my gear um, without a liner, but not my mesh gear, just my regular gear, and be comfortable. That's my favorite. Just get a little warm. Ugh. Oh, I've always wanted to ride the Olympic Peninsula. Isn't there like a really huge national park up there? Like it's like a loop you can do around it. I was reading an article about that. It was like a, it's on my bucket list now. And that's easy for me here because it's like, what, five hours away? It's a weekend. I'm about to run out of cigar. I do, Marcus. They, I uh, put them to the test today. And I think they look really cool. <laughs> You're out in Eastern Oregon, right? So it's hot. Yeah, Olympic National Park. That's what I'm thinking of. No bras. Well, if we ever got two grand to waste, there are worse ways to spend it. In my experience. Than on a bras, you know. My brother wants to buy the bras for me. I'm just not ready to sell it yet. But then he, he might be watching. But then he was like, I was like, just get a new one if you want one. Because I'm not sure I want to sell one. He's like, I don't want to spend 2000 I was like, what do you think I was going to sell it to you for? I could get two grand out of it, I think. Because it's already assembled. And it's the Pacific Northwest, so dual sports go for a lot. South Dakota, hell yeah. PNW is the place to be. What up, Sam? How are you, man? Is, have you been on live stream before? I don't think you've... We always we always talk in the comments, but... Uh, videos, but I don't think I've seen you on a live stream before, have I? Welcome. Thanks for hanging out. 
Uh, Mr. Puff Puff is basically no more. It gets to the point where it starts to burn my beard. This was good all the way through. It's I've been smoking cheap things for a while because I got... Well, because I bought cheap ones. So, Cigar Bid is my new best friend because I'm able to get decent cigars and pay 2 or $3 a piece. Exactly, David. That's what I'm saying. Already built. So, I think I could get 2000 out of it easy. Up here. With 300 miles on it. At least that's what I'd put it up for and then I'd probably let it go for 18 or something. Awesome. Oh, man. Some asshole drank on my whiskey. Shit, I was, we're supposed to be drinking every time I say drink, and I just said it twice. And now I'm out, so I gotta get mas. I mas. Should we do some infinity bottle? So, it's pretty full. So I've been taking a, a glass here and there. You guys know about the infinity bottle? It's pretty cool. You just put the last drinks worth or whatever of every bottle you finish in here, and then it turns into your own personal blend of all the whiskeys that you like, and it's kind of like a record of everything you've, you've drank. So, um, super unique. I like riding in the snow a lot. Chris, you haven't been to Browns in seven years? The thing I love about Browns, and I will, I will shout this to the rooftops, and it's not because my wife works there, but the Oregon Department of Forestry uh, builds trails like no one else. They're the best I've ridden. And they're constantly maintained in a way that I haven't seen anywhere else. Every time you go, every year, they've put down a bunch of gravel. They've had a, obviously had a cat out there leveling things. They build trails up on, like, they're up higher off the rest so they don't get all muddy and shitty. It's nice. It is nice. Okay, yeah, I'm getting it. I'm lightheaded from the cigar, and I'm getting a decent buzz from all this whiskey, so. Like a grog when you're military functions. Is that like... It is, you, yeah, but isn't that like, are you talking about just like mixing whatever they're drinking? Because um, the Infinity Bottle tastes good. <laughs> it's not like, it's not like uh, you have to be a badass to drink it. It's just delicious. Mmm, mmm, mmm. thing is I keep finishing off the same bottle, so this is like three quarters of Elijah Craig. Yeah, Cab, but I don't, I don't buy cheap whiskey. I don't put my Evan Williams and shit in here. Just the good stuff. Back in the day. I don't, the Patreon thing reminds me I gotta put those pictures up from today. I just showed them to all of you, but uh, patrons get all those pictures usually as soon as I get back. It's the first thing I do. One nice thing about streaming by myself without a guest star is you can actually see my stickers. Although the red looks really orange. It's my Presip Moto sticker. Oh, this is the Sinister. This is the distillery that, I, that, that makes the whiskey I was just drinking. Oh, ciao. Uh, I didn't, yeah, I was in a, obviously in a rush when I put the topics together, but I wanted to talk about today, and we've done that. I wanted to sip on delicious whiskey, we did that. I wanted to have a Mr. Puff Puff, we did that. Chewy barked, we did that. What else, guys? I did not, Sam, because she's plenty tall enough. I never put a lowering link on it for me because I didn't want to screw up the suspension geometry or whatever. She's, that probably is less of a concern for her. I think she can ride it stock. She's done fine. She can get both feet down at the same time, just just the balls and, the, and her toes. I think she'll be okay. Yeah, the beer sticker is Primo right here. It's so hard to point at things. That's courtesy of Soils. That was my uh, that was one of the first editions. Yeah, if anyone's got stickers they want to show up in the background, you know, if you've got a YouTube channel or anything, I'm happy to display them for you. I want to cover. I'm gonna sticker bomb these lockers. It's getting better. It's getting better. What up, Two Wheels? You all subscribe to Two Wheels in the Tent? Because if not, what the hell are you doing with your life? Go subscribe to that guy, and McLevin, and Stag, and everyone else. Yeah.
Yeah, she's about the right height for it. Her legs are in a great, are in a great. Um, she's they're long enough. They're the right length for when she rides it. The angle of her knee is perfect. I think she'll be she'll be fine on it once she gets uh, once she gets used to it. Uh, Cab, I'm not a huge Scotch drinker, but I will tell you how much do you want to spend because a decent, a decent, um, not super expensive one is supposed to be Monkey Shoulder. I keep meaning to buy it. Uh, I had a buddy that drank Lafroig. It's real peaty though. If you like the smoky shit, it's about eighty dollars a bottle. Um, trees, not a ton, honestly, because um, because I say really good things about both bikes. I did have a guy today that was like. Just shit talking the CRF. I don't think he actually watched the video. Most of the people that that leave negative comments that gave me shit didn't watch the video, and it's obvious. Uh, Chris, if you well, one, please don't feel obligated to send me a package, but if you want to, I would love to show it off on stream and whatever. Um, just email me, Chris, and I'll send you my actual address if you want. I'm not going to say it on stream, but if you email me at a dork on the road appears at gmail.com, I will email you my address. Yeah, I hear good things about Monkey Shoulder. I'm going to buy a bottle. I just keep forgetting. And or I there's I keep drinking all my daily drinker whiskeys and I got to reorder those. So I, I forget to get something else. So, Which reminds me, I said this already, but I'm, I'm out of Larceny and Elijah Craig right now. I took that, I took a fifth of Elijah Craig on that trip with my dad and I just brought it out one night around the camp. We actually didn't have a campfire. It was too hot, but in the evening hanging out, you know what I mean? And, uh, it was gone, like 10 guys. We, we plowed through it like nobody's business. It's good stuff. Yeah, I thought about it, D. I thought about it. I don't get enough packages yet. But, and I'll be honest with you, the post office is on the complete opposite end of town, so it's annoying. So I probably would like never get down there to check it. You do, Sam. You are one of my most consistent commenters, for sure. Smoke barrel. Oh, keep an eye out. I'm not a huge, not a huge. Oh, that's whiskey, not scotch. Just regular whiskey. I love good whiskey. Mmm. That is good. Oh right, that's my infinity bottle. Yeah, that's why it's so good. I was like, what am I even drinking? <laughs> Clearly, I've had four too many if I can't remember what I poured. There is one of those closer, David, but their prices are ridiculous. I don't know what their P.O. boxes are. I guess I should look into it. Because that one is close enough that I would get there more often. Well, there's like a postal connection. It's not a UPS store, but we don't have a UPS store, I don't think. We might. I don't know. <laughs> Song stuck in my head. Obs. Obs. I never told you guys my perfect bike. I kind of did. When we were talking about perfect bikes, if I could build my own, but it would be a Honda manufactured DRZ 400 with six gears and fuel injection. They let you, well, you're like a, you're a regular. You get to go behind the bar and everything. That's fun. I'm so annoyed about the chat. I don't know what the hell happened. The YouTube app must update and it's stupid now. Uh, two wheels. It is about ninety every day. 14 to 20 a month. Yeah, see, and I get a package like once every three months, so I don't know if that's worth it. Wife and I have talked about it because she's got a YouTube channel too, so when she gets, when she ever gets going consistently, we'll probably just get one and split it. Devil Dog, I have a pair of Shady Rays. I, uh, I've taken, I took them on a cruise even. They've been almost all the way to South America. I was wearing them today, in fact. Shady Rays are cool because they, um, you get uh, unlimited, well, no, you get a replacement. So you buy them, like $35, and then you can always find a discount code. And then if you lose them or break them, they'll replace them. You just have to pay, uh, 
just have to pay shipping and handling or something, and then replace them for you. So that's kind of nice. Marcus, thank you for that, bud. Cab, I don't. Is there enough of a comparison? Like, are people actually wondering about DRZ versus Africa Twin? Dang! All right, I gotta spin for Marcus, and then we'll spin for Chris. Thank you for that, guys. Much appreciate. Hot out here. Riddle me this. Okay, this is for Marcus. I don't know. Have we done a riddle yet? This will be fun. Um. All right. Riddles. Oh, we did one, I think. So this is this is the riddle. Uh, what has to be broken before you can use it? Did we do that one? I don't think we did. And then I'm gonna spin for Chris while you guys guess the riddle. Giveaway time! And Chungus is here! Alright, don't leave yet. Let's do a giveaway. Let's do a giveaway. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Marcus. Yeah, Marcus, send me a picture of your DRZ when you get it all set up, man. Hi, cat. Alright, let's start a new giveaway. Oh, or not, because I clicked the wrong thing or something? No, I never closed the other one. Alright, here you go. How do you break a chair... Never mind soils. Yeah, but can you break it over and over? Or you only break it once. Soils, I'm gonna give you that one, but that's not the answer I'm looking for. Chungus is here, everyone. Chungus. Look, he's so enormous. It's not a it's not a complete stream if Chungus doesn't show up. Gotta have some Chungus in your life. Hi, Chungus. This is Egon. His name is actually Egon, but Jacob called him, or JBADV started calling him Chungus, so uh, it's stuck, because he's a real Chungus. My wife doesn't like that we call him Chungus. What up, two wheels? I owe you a spin, but let's get the giveaway before I, before I, uh, I don't want to lose, I want to get the giveaway done, and then I'll spin for you, bud. Thank you for that, two wheels. Go sub to two wheels if you haven't. Exclamation point enter if you'd like to enter the sticker giveaway, and I will mail you stickers. Giant Lip sticker, Dork on the Road sticker. I gotta, that reminds me, I gotta print some more of the letters. I go in there. Chungus, you're very aggressive right now. Don't go on my liquor shelf. Do not do it. Do, 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 do. All right, looks like we got like, there's, there's 41 people right now. Only like eight of you have entered the giveaway. What's up, y'all? It's okay. It's okay if you don't want to win stickers. It's also okay if you've already won them. I need to order some more. Um, Razor, are you still here? I need to get some more key tags. And maybe if I put a key tag giveaway on there, but like made it a smaller slice. That might spice up the giveaways. Just chill out, Chungus. Just chill out, pal. Every time I order them, I think I'll be good for a while, and then we end up using them up. I think I've only got three left. Thank you all for entering. Yeah, this is good. Oh, I got whiskey. Is that whiskey? I don't think it is. I think Chungus drooled on my mouse. Oh, no! What did I do? Oh my god, it's freaking out because the key, the um, the touchpad is wet. What are you doing right now? No. Yeah, my mouse is not working. I can't even go back to the thing. How am I supposed to run the giveaway if I can't do the thing? Seriously, it stopped working. What are we doing right now? Oh my god, I've start. I've just opened so many programs. Chungus. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Chungus on an AT? I want that too. I should I should uh, design that. Yeah, sorry, Sam. They are the size that I could afford to get printed. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna close entries in like ten seconds. So enter if you haven't.
Okay, I'm closing it. Uh, I'm closing it. Close. All right, let's pick a winner. The winner of the giveaway is... Marcus! There you go, man. So send me an email at adorkintheroadappears at gmail.com with your address. I'll get some stickers sent out for you. Um, okay. Two wheels. I got a spin for you. This is for two wheels. Two wheels and a tent. Secret word. All right, let's change it. Although we haven't been keeping... You guys haven't been calling it out when I say it. You gotta call it out because I can't remember. So, uh... Tell you what, two wheels. We can change the secret word if you want or we can do a spinner's choice because we only got like eight minutes left, probably. So, um, it's up to you. If you want to do a secret word for the next eight minutes, you can. Or we could do any of the options on the wheel. That's up to you. This cat, holy crap. Did I tell you what the answer to the riddle is? It's an egg. The answer is an egg. Cat, you need to not. You need to not. Okay, I'm over it. I'm over it. Did you guys feel the ground shake when he landed? Oh, it totally, he moved the camera. That's funny. I said that and then it shook right when I said it. Almost like I did it on purpose. Yeah, y'all should be drinking. It's Friday night. Chewbacca's eating something off the ground. I don't know what it is. So what do you want to do, two wheels? It is up to you. I will let you choose. You let me know. Whoa, look at it. I just saw the ground choice, the ground change. Okay, but you have to tell me what your choice is, man. Oh man, you want me to remember what all the options are? Um, 185, sticker giveaway, change hat, which I took off because my head was itchy. Um, we got Riddle, we got Two Truths and a Lie, we got... What else is even on there right now? So much... I'm gonna spin it again so I can look at it. This doesn't count, but I want you to see. Unless it lands on something you want. Let's look at what all there is. Uh, dad Joke, Dork Trivia, Everyone Drinks, Riddle Never Have I Ever, all those, all those. Secret Word, oh you wanna do a Secret Word? Okay, the Secret Word is Stickers, okay. For the rest of the stream, the secret word is stickers. That's your choice. You only get one or the other, though. So if you're going secret word, then don't worry about the spinner's choice. Ah, delicious. Delicious. Um, Sam, it feels more flickable, but as some people have pointed out, I also just got a confidence boost in the timing one, just because of the bike, the new bike, and two, I just sort of have improved my skills, so what I need to do is take the, the CRF out on the trails now and ride it again, which I plan on doing, it's just the DRZ is pretty new still, so I want to take it every time. So I will get out and ride the CRF again and get a, a better comparison now that I feel like I've, uh, now that I've gotten a little better. I want to have an apples to apples comparison. Chad, I, the last one was, um, this was out of my infinity bottle actually, but before that I was drinking some, uh, some Howard Jacob single malt from a local distillery called Sinister. And then we had some, uh, uh, Russell's reserve, Russell, yeah, 10 year, that's good shit. All good shit tonight. Too much whiskey tonight, I'll tell you that. That's why I mix it most nights, because I don't want to be uh, inebriated and not able to continue the stream, which is what you guys are after sometimes. Yeah, Sam, it definitely fe it, it feels much more capable. But a lot of the suspension, the CRF suspension is just soft. I've ridden the DRZ way harder than I ever rode the CRF, and I haven't bottomed it out yet. And I bottomed out the CRF suspension all the time. And I don't ride on the highway much, so the five speeds doesn't bother me that much. And I haven't had any trouble with the carb yet, but I know some people really don't like them. Thanks, Chad. I appreciate you hanging out. Thanks for being here.
All right, well, we're coming in on less than five minutes left probably before I bail, so um, any final thoughts, questions, feelings, any uh, suggestions, or I don't know. What should we add to the wheel? You guys are always like, uh, finish your whole drink. Yeah, I can't get shit-faced on stream. I won't be able to finish it, but I'm open to ideas, thoughts, and feelings. Uh, probably going to try to edit up the Bras trail riding video this weekend. That'll probably be Monday's video, and then my guess is next week, um, I think I might go Monday, Wednesday, and then the Friday is the live stream, so that's three videos a week. Uh, but uh, I made a video today of load of how to load how I load my dual sport by myself. Some people have been asking for that, so I may edit that up, and that might be next Wednesday's video. We shall see. We shall see. Oregon Grain Growers Distillery bottles. Yeah, let me know. So I'm always into new stuff. All right, McLovin. No, Chris, we, we rarely get over uh, 50 most weeks. It doesn't, the stream doesn't grow. It's super weird. I don't know what that's about. It's like YouTube has decided 50 is it, and that's all it's going to show it to. Um, Rock, maybe. I want to do a moto camping video on it. It's just been a weird summer. I actually just got back from riding today, Chad. So I don't know if I'll ride this weekend, but um, i got a few riding videos coming up for you. Yeah, I know you can upgrade the suspension, but I don't have the mechanical acumen to do that myself. All right, Mike. Good good luck. Hope to see you next week. Enjoy your bike. Enjoy your gear. I love gear shopping. Love bike shopping. Love mod shopping. It's all good stuff. Good night, Polly. V. Yeah, no, I don't... That was not me complaining, Chris. Not at all. Not at all. 50 people showing up every week is pretty badass if you ask me. So, hell of a way to spend a Friday night if you ask me. So, uh, and my, you know, I used to stream on Twitch to like four people. So, 50 is really awesome. <laughs> all right. I'm going to bail out, I think. So, um, good night, y'all. It has been a cruel summer. Bananarama style. Thanks for hanging out. Great stream. Great times. Glad I got to do the Mr. Puff Puff. We'll see if there's any consequences from that. Um, Chungus, and on behalf of Chungus and Chewbacca, I just want to say thank you very much. And please do not forget to be excellent to each other. I'll thank you. Good night, y'all.